Hello there, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how we can create a mini house like the one that you can see here. This is actually a very simple model but there are many objects in both so we will go one by one and build this scene from scratch. Alright, let's begin. So the first step is to create the floor. So I'm going to rotate this rectangle here 90 degrees and then I'm going to change it to be 500 units in X and also 500 units in Y. I'm also going to use 100 units in the corner, 75 units in the extrusion, 16 units in the bevel and 6 bevel size. And then I'm going to use font and zero in shininess. Alright, so now that we have the floor let's now create uh, the house so i'm going to press all r to receive my camera and then i'm going to create a cube here and i'm going to put it right in the middle all right then i'm going to move the cube to here and then uh, what i want is that i want to convert this cube into a subdivision surface and then i'm going to change the levels to zero so now what i want is that i want to have a subdivision right in the middle using the lock cube tool so i just click there and then i create the subdivision there and then i switch back to the vertex mode and then i select these points in here then i hold shift and select these other points in here so now what i want is to create the angle of the house so i think it's going to be something like this all right so now that i have the base of the house what i want is to press command d to duplicate this object then i'm going to move it to the top then i'm going to double click and then i'm going to select the points in here and then i'm going to move it to be in the same angle i also want to move this to the top so this is going to be the ceiling and now we can adjust a little bit i think something like this should work and we select this too and we change the scale a little more so let's move this to the bottom here so we can actually see better. Let's also change the color to be something like red. Now let's see how we can actually do this in the right way. So we want this to match the same angle. So let's select this two, press and hold in shift. And then now um, I think I'm going to select this ones in here and change like this. And then select this two again. So I think that's working fine. So now let's just adjust the size in here something like this and then I'm going to start adding some loop goods um, so I'm going to add one here another here and another here but then I'm going to select this one here by double clicking so now I have these two selected and I want to move them like this I also want to increase the subdivision because I need to see what I'm doing here so I'm going to put two and then I want to create some loops in here yeah something like this should work yeah I think this is good for now and we can add another one here and another one here yeah so we can add another one there another one there and now we can select this one here by double clicking we can select this and then we can dissolve this then I can select this and then I can dissolve this one as well all right so now that we have our ceiling let's do the same for the house in here so I actually want this to be a little round as well I want to start adding some subdivisions as well one there, another one, another one, another one, and until we have enough subdivisions. So it looks smooth. Let's see how it looks right now. It looks very weird, <laughs> but don't worry. We can add subdivision here and then we can use the scale to flatten it out. Then we can move it to the, to the bottom part. Alternatively, what we can do is that we can select the face mode and then we can select all of the faces in here and we can delete those. For now, we just can disable this and then select this, the home holding chief, we can select the other ones. Then we can select here, we delete this and then we can enable this again, we can enable this again. Now that we have the base is ready what I want to start doing is I want to start adding a little bit more color into everything because now everything looks like gray so let's first change the background something like this will be nice I think and then for the floor I want to switch to a smooth here so it's a little bit more smooth and then for the material I want to use an overlay here maybe something like 60 percent and instead of this color what I want is to use a depth layer and I'm going to change it to the type to be linear and instead of going in this direction I want it to go to be more like in the set direction here so I'm going to use this 
Now I'm going to click here and I'm going to adjust the position of these two elements here so we can have gradient here for us. I think that's good enough. And now what I want is I want to start adjusting these two values so they are sharper. So here instead of the black color we can use green and then we can use for this we can use something like a brown color which is going to be the terrain. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Alright, so for the walls of the house we can use also overlay with 60% of intensity and then we can use um, something that is not precisely like white but like a little bit like in the middle right there same with the ceiling we use overlay and then we use a little bit more of this like 60 percent and then we can keep adjusting the colors i still notice that the ceiling kind of looks a little weird you can see that here we have like this spacing so now if we just have like a subdivision here and another here i think that should be working fine but I still think like this is maybe too sharp in the corner so maybe we can select this one and then hold and shift select this other one and make it a little more soft something like this all right so now what i want to have is a little bit more sharpness in this part of the house so that's gonna be easy i just need to have uh, another line here so i was missing and then another one here and another one here so i was kind of missing that one there so now it looks a little better. I also think maybe we need to change this to be a little closer. What I want to do now is that I want to create like, yeah, like a door here and then like a window here. So, so I'm just going to use a rectangle for this and then uh, another one in here for the window. Yeah. Right, so this one should have a little round corner, something like 12. And for this, I'm going to double click and going to select these points and I'm also going to use 12 in here. That should be good enough. Now I just want to move everything a little bit to the bottom, something like that. And for this, I want to use uh, just a blue color. And for this one, I'm going to use um, just like a darker brown color. Yeah. Then uh, we need a door knot, which is going to be just a circle somewhere around here, smaller. And then this is going to be something like a dark color. Now that we have a little house almost ready, let's start working on the trees. So the trees is going to be just a, a cube. And then we are going to use a green color for this cube, something like this. And then we're going to have some overlay here and maybe 60% as well. And then we're going to have some round corners. Then we're going to duplicate this cube make it smaller something like this i think we can just now instead of the color actually i think it's better we can use some sort of depth and it can be like a linear as well and in this case it's going to be pointing to y actually it's going to be set direction there as well and then we can adjust these handlers so what we want is that the the bottom part to be like a darker green and the top part to be something like a bright green so now i just want to create an asset for this and uh, this is going to be uh, trees and then i'm going to use the same material on this one and then i want to make all of these smaller like this and i want to create the trunk actually it's going to be maybe something like like in here right something like this and then we can make it smaller and taller something like that so i'm going to disable right now the snapping all right so then we use a brown color here also overlay we kind of don't need the reflections and i think for this also we don't need the reflections in this and um, yeah just making sure that we follow the same type of colors yeah something like that works all right, so we have a little tree here. So let's select all of them and use pre press Command G to create the group. And then let's just rename this to tree. Let's just make it a little bigger. Then let's just press Command D and let's just put the same in the other side of the house. Maybe let's rotate it to be maybe like this. 
and maybe I think perhaps for this I'm going to duplicate this one here and put it on this side so this is gonna be a little bit so I'm just trying to add like this little diversity somehow I think the house is still maybe a little small so I'm going to select all of the elements of the house and I'm going to increase it the size just a little bit I want it to be the house to be bigger and then uh, I want to make the trees in here bigger, something like that. And then this one is, maybe it's okay that it's a small. So I want the light to come from this other side in here. So we have these shadows here. And I also going to use uh, soft shadows. And then I'm going to select my light move here to the top and change the penumbra to be a little more blurry. So now it looks a little more blurry here. And then uh, let me select everything again here and just without the floor and move it just a little bit so the door is not surfacing there. Okay, so that's looking better. So now for the walls, what I want is I want to have like more um, shadow in all, in all of this area here, which is coming from this. So it should be a little red as well. So I'm going to use a uh, depth layer here. Um, yeah, what I want is, yeah, I want something like this. Yeah, something like this, but maybe using the smooth transition. And um, here it will be more like a dark red color. And then I'm going to be using multiply in here. So it should be something like this, yeah. Yeah, that looks, looks nice. Maybe too much, maybe. It's gonna be like 60 or something. So another thing is that you can see that we have this very much green color here of the tree. So I think it would be nice to have like some sort of um, green in this size of the walls, right? So what I can do is that I can duplicate this layer here. Um, I can move it maybe like this, maybe making it smaller like this. And in this case, I'm going to use white in this side and then here I'm going to use something like a dark green something like this and then I wanted to move it to this side and um, maybe this can have like less intensity something like that and then I want to duplicate this and move it to the other side like this this is just like a little kind of like a bounce lighting there so it's kind of like adding this reflection of green okay so now that I have those ready, I want to add a border to the house. So the house is going to have like this little border here. And for that, what I can do is that I can make a duplicate of the walls, which is this object. And this is going to be borders. And this is going to be walls, right? So for the border, enter in the mesh. And what I want is that I want to delete all of the faces in the top. And then with the ones that are left, I want to adjust the position a little bit to be like here. I think I can disable for now the door. And let me just make this one a little dark. So it looks like that because they're sharing the same position. So I'm just going to make it just a little bigger for now. Now, what I want to do is I want to delete those points in here because we won't need those. And then finally, we want to select all of the faces and then we can use the extrusion tool. And then we go again to the points mode and then we can move this closer to the border. And in this side, we can achieve a new line and then we can move this here. So that should be enough. So now that we have the door, we can see that it's not matching, but it's not a problem, right? Because we can actually adjust this to match. So we can move this just a little bit there. And then we can move this to here, just a little bit there. All right, so now we have our little border. We can still like making it just a little smaller if we want to. And something like that should work. Okay, so let's make sure that we don't have any shininess. So it's gonna be zero looks better and actually for the house the same it's gonna be zero and then we're going to create this it's gonna be walls and this is gonna be our borders right there all right so we are missing a couple of things we're missing a little 
concrete part here and also some details in here and maybe a couple of like some plants in here and in here all right so let's just add another element here something like this and then let's put it there it's gonna have like some corner get smaller then we we'll move it here and this is gonna have a little extrusion i think this is gonna be the same color of the borders here but um we don't need all of the all of the depth of this but we don't need like the round corners in here it's gonna be something like this okay so using the same idea what we can do is that we can create uh, a bunch of objects in here maybe using the vectors something like a pentagonal shape maybe um and this will be like a stones basically so i'm gonna put it here and then increase the extrusion and the bevel will be something like two and this is fine we can add some round corners something like this and i think we also can use the, the same color here but then we can remove this right and here we can make it a little bit more like this i think that should be fine so this is going to be maybe like um like stones right and then we can put it right there let's see maybe we can duplicate this several times we can change the orientation on each time so they don't look um, too similar okay that seems to be looking pretty cool already so i think like the final step will be to add plants in here right so for the plants i just want to use a sphere i think a sphere is like a good idea so yeah just a couple of spheres that we can change in height and maybe it will be with less polygons like something like this 32 or 16 maybe yeah, very small spheres that we can put here and then um we can just duplicate them like this and then they have like different sizes and positions something like that should work um let's just comprise this into plant and for all these spheres i think we can use the same trees color then we can detach and we can make it maybe a little darker because we want them to be a little different than the other objects so they are visible for them we can create new materials here it's gonna be plants all right so then we can just duplicate these change the size a little all right so looks like we got most of things ready um i just think that we're missing just a little bit of depth in this door and this, this element so what I want to do is I want to add like extrusion of two and then a font and then zero here and also like a bevel. So let's use overlay here. Then we can make like a darker color here. And this will be maybe like 60. We can increase the size here. And then we can do the same thing for this, right? So it's two here, two here, font, zero, and then overlay with something like 60 and yeah i think that should be good enough just make sure that we have the door knob we don't lose this right and there we go yeah so one one last step is to adjust this it's killing me a little so i'm just going to make it bigger um something like this yeah all right we are almost ready but we're missing just one object which is the chimney right which is supposed to be somewhere here we are going to use a cube so i'm going to go to the top and then i'm going to create a cube here and then i'm just going to make it a little bigger something like this and then i'm just going to smooth and edit and then i'm going to add a couple of subdivisions for this object and um, then i'm going to duplicate this object make it a little bigger change size something like here and i'm going to increase the subdivisions in here as well now for the top part of this object i need to have an inset so let's just make an inset there and then let's do an extrusion yeah something like that should work and 
Don't worry about this one because we're just going to remove all of those polygons because we don't need those and we're going to move this to the bottom part here. So now what I want to do is I want to create a rectangle here. Just put it right there and this is going to be just almost black. And then uh, for this part here, this is going to be the same color of the walls, but without the, the depth colors. For this part here, it's going to be the same color as the ceiling. So we need to create this into a, an asset. This is going to be a ceiling. And then we can use this color here as well. Let's just make it a little smaller, something like that. So adjust the position of this. And I think in general, we can select these three objects and make it a little smaller as well. This one can be maybe a little less like this. I think this is working fine. Yeah. And I think maybe this could be maybe a little darker, I think. And um, for this one here, I think we can have just a depth color that is maybe adding a little bit of darkening right there. And it's gonna be like this, um, kind of like a multiply color here. something like that could work so let's make that into a group put it like there make it smaller all right so this is how we can build a house on a spline there are many other ways in which you can build the actual structure of the house like for example you can use better shapes to create the structure of the house like this for example and then you can extrude that and you can basically do the same right you can just have something like this and you know you can work around with the shape but I just wanted to show you this way because um, I think learning how to use the modeling tools will enable you to build more complex shapes than what you are able to do with just vectors right now all right I hope you like this tutorial see you in the next time